Today on Radical Toys, we're going to be taking a look at Masters of the Universe Origins Fisto. Alright, we are still on Wave 5. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Fisto here. And of course, we are going to do it with our trusty Faker Orange Sword here. So let's go ahead and take a look exactly what's going on. So we've got the blister back card going on here, and there's the blister package showcasing the character within, so it looks really good. We've got that multi-language burst going on here, so we know that this is international. Of course, there's a mini-comic here in the background. We're going to check that out a little later. And of course, we've got the Mattel logo, because this is made by the folks of Mattel. We've got that age 6 and up here in the corner. Our blue starry sky, we've got our red bursting lava there, and of course our master's logo. So let's flip her around here. We've got some nice artwork going on here. We've got Fisto himself. We've got Jitsu. Now we've got Strider, hang Stridor hanging out there too. So here's something I'm thinking. Mattel did say that we were going to have... Um, we may they, that we may get a character based on the artwork. So keep that in mind, guys. So I would think that we're probably going to at least get Jitsu soon. Stridor, not sure, but probably eventually down the line. We got some trees going on here, and of course we got like it looks like to be some sort of castle in the background there, but I can't quite make out exactly what it is. I'm unfamiliar with it. Ironically, I'm very unfamiliar with that, so that's really strange. But anyway. That's what we got there. Now, if I had to pick as the new mount, I wouldn't pick Stridor. I would want Spidor. So I'm hoping we get something like Spidor or, you know, something like that. I know we're getting the Wind Raider next, but hopefully we'll get that. And, of course, as we look down here, we've got the articulation here going on here because normally back in the vintage days, we would have the action features but of course Visto does not retain it unfortunately but that's okay he's still welcomed addition to the line and of course we've got some wave 5 characters going on here we've got our Fisto, Evil Lynn, Merman and Faker and of course He-Man and Skeletor from wave 1. So there you have it guys. Oh yeah, before I forget, we've got that logo that I've been seeing recently, empowering the next generation through play. So that's kind of neat there. So let's go ahead, let's get this guy to the package, see what's going on with him, and I will be right back. We're going to take a quick look here. Before we get started with the character, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see the little instruction sheet here. So, of course, this will show you where you can pull him apart. And, of course, he pulls apart in the arm, the wrist down here, the feet. But he does not pull apart at that fist, and I even tried it, but no, it doesn't come apart. So you won't be sharing Fisto's fist with anybody else, unfortunately. That's kind of a womp womp womp, but oh well, that's okay. It is what it is. And, of course, we've got the mini-comic. So, here it is, Sucker Punch, and, of course, just like all the other waves, all four characters are going to have the same mini-comic. And as we look inside here, and you will see pages of all the characters that are in the current wave, which is to be expected now. And, of course, this is international because we don't have the chat bubbles. So, if you want to see the chat bubbles, you're going to have to check out the U.S. release there. And that's pretty much it. You look at the back, and, of course, it is going to advertise the characters in this wave. So, there we have it. And here we are taking a look at Fisto. So, what can we say about Fisto? Well, for me, Fisto was never one of those characters I really cared for. Um... I would say I hate him, but uh, he's definitely one of the ones that were on the bottom of my list when it comes to Masters of the Universe. But of course, your opinion might vary. You may love this guy, and that's absolutely fine. Um, let's go ahead and let's dive right in here. Let's just see exactly what's going on with his skull. So, as we zoom on in here, we've got a nice 
pretty good face sculpt. This actually really does look like Festo to me. Like, uh, it screams Festo, absolutely does. And his eyes are painted quite straight for me, and my pupils are painted straight, as well as my eyebrows. And, of course, his hair with the detail going on there, that actually looks pretty good. And that's also pretty straight. He's got a red beard going on there and mustache, and it's also got a sculpt going on in there, so you can kind of see some lines, you can see his lips. And, of course, he is done in that standard He-Man buck and plastic color, so skin color. And as we get down to his chest here, we can see the armor. Now, this is, of course, the same armor as Clamp Champ. It's just a different color. So we got some purple and silver pink going on there. So it looks pretty good. And as we go down, we can see we got a painted belt. It is definitely done in a purple uh, let me see, is there any overwash going on there? Yes, there is a little bit, but it is so small you can't pick it up unless you're actually looking at the camera, so that is perfectly fine for me. And we've got those furry loincloth, uh, loin and of course it's a brown there, so it looks pretty good. It's got a nice sculpt, so it's what you would expect. It's probably what we're going to see in the Savage He-Man. If he ever comes out down the line, I would say that's probably what they're going to sport. Um, and of course he's got the purple boots going on there, and I believe that is the standard He-Man boots, and it is sculpted in a purple plastic. We get down to his bracer here. It looks pretty good. It's your standard bracer that goes all the way around. Um, I don't really see any overwash. It looks actually pretty good there. It's got the little bumps going on, and of course you get to the other hand, and of course we get his fist that's what he's known for is a bigger fist um i don't know if this fist is too small or not because i'm pretty sure the vintage one the fist is actually bigger but maybe it's just me i don't have the vintage one to compare unfortunately but i still like it it still looks good it's fine it is what it is and that's basically his sculpt there so let's go ahead and of course his armor can be removed you can see these tabs here on the side you can actually release these. It's just like Clamp Champs, if you've seen my review on him. It's kind of like a softer plastic, so it will you can remove it. It's pretty good there. Actually, let's just go ahead and take it off for a second. I'll take that off there. It's really smooth. It's like, I like the feeling of it. And there is inside of his head as well. You can kind of see there how the ball joint goes in. There it snaps. Nice, nice fern snap. I actually love that sound. So there you have it there. And, of course, let's go ahead, since we have that off, let's take a run down his articulation here. So he's got the ball joint head, as we are to expect in this line, so it rotates all around. He looks down very well, all the way. Very well done, just because of the way his chin sculpted. You can actually put this all the way down, so it looks really good. And you can look up. Surprisingly enough, you can't really make him look up at all. Well, I shouldn't say at all, but not very much. And I think it's due to this headpiece. You'd think it would be easy, but it's not. But that's okay. It's still good. You'll still get some good poses out of it, all in all. We've got the uh, rotational joint there, so you can rotate him around, inwards, forwards, backwards, that sort of thing. His elbows go inwards, you can swivel the those around as well, swivel at the fist, same with the other side. Uh, he's got the hinge joint on this side, of course, so we can go inwards and backwards, and yeah, it's pretty good. So swivel at the waist there, and of course they are indeed removable at the waist. And let me see here, underneath the legs, standard joints, ball joints there, so you can rotate it around, you can rock it forwards and backwards. He's got the knee joints, you can bend them in, you can rotate them around, you can swivel the boot cut, and you can got that rocker joint at the ankles there, and of course you can hinge it forwards and backwards, so it's pretty good. All in all, he's exactly what you expect him to be in the Origins line, so it's pretty good. I like it. So, he does indeed have one accessory, so let's go ahead and check out his accessory here. And, of course, he's got his purple sword. It looks pretty good. Um, 
It has a plain purple plastic going on here. It's got the handle, and of course it will fit in his left hand just fine. Even without the grip, it still stays in and doesn't fall out. It looks really good, so if you want to put the grip on as well and swivel it over that side, it looks good. Looks absolutely fine. It stays in his hand. That's what I like to see. I wish Prince Adam uh his sword i wish it was the same idea but unfortunately won't 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 nope it does not <laughs> but oh well now since we've got the sword out why not do a quick comparison time here of his sword and of course triclops's sword because they are indeed one in the same so there's the purple versus the greens the exact same sculpt same mold uh We've got the black handle on that one, and of course they opted just to do all purple on this. So, that's fine. So there's the swords. So that is pretty sharp. And since we're looking at the chest armor, why not bring in Clamp Champ's armor? So here we go. We've got Clamp Champ and we've got Fisto. So as you can see, they're exactly identical. It's just different plastic colors and different paint colors. So we've got blue. And I like this blue because it's extremely vibrant. Like I just, I don't know, I love this color. It's excellent. I absolutely love it. Um, it really does make a difference, I find, uh, depending on what colors you like. See, I don't really like the colors of this, but I love the colors of this. So your uh, opinions may vary on these, on, on these, depending on what colors you actually like. Or maybe you like them both, or maybe you hate them both. Hard to say. Your opinion will, will vary. And let's go ahead and slap that back on them. Do, 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 do charge i don't know why i got that in my head but i do and there we have it so there is our fisto so we are indeed going to do a character comparison here so since we did clamp champ's armor why don't we do clamp champ yeah that sounds like a good idea there Just grab his armor put it on real quick there and yeah so there is our clamp champ so we got side by side here so there is our, our front view, we've got our side view, and of course we've got the back view. And there you have it. That is our Fisto in our comparison. Now I love the colors of this guy. I love the red loincloth and I like the, uh, you know, that vibrant type of blue. I love those colors, so that's kind of neat. So, there you have it, guys. There is our Masters of the Universe Fisto. What do you think of this guy? What do you think of this wave? Um, I like the wave, but was I actually excited for the wave? Not really. Um, not overly excited about this wave, but I do like the characters. Don't get me wrong. I, I really like, um, you know, Faker's okay. Um, but... Um, the Lords of Powers uh, Merman, he was definitely the one that I liked in the wave the most. But your opinion, again, will vary with that as well. So there we go, guys. We've got Fisto. We shall end the video here. Let me know what you think there. You know, give me some comments. Tell me what you think about them. And, uh, you know, do you have them? Can you find them? That sort of thing. And, you know, I like him. He's not too bad. He's going to be a nice addition on the shelf with all the other ones that I have hanging out with Castle Grayskull there, so it'll be pretty cool. So thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. So as always, Radical Toys is out.